that consuming a salty diet causes high blood pressure is well known. It's also known that substituting uh, salt, uh, the, the classical salt with a, with a salt reduced in sodium and increase in potassium lowers blood pressure. What was not known were the effects on cardiovascular health of uh, these salt substitutes. So this is a beautiful paper published in, uh, in the New England Journal of Medicine, September 16th, 2021. It is a randomized clinical trial on 21, almost 21,000 men and women older than 60 years of age. You know, they recruited people from 600 villages in rural China. And these people, they were older than 60 years of age and had a history of stroke or had high blood pressure. And they were randomized with a one-to-one one -one ratio to uh, using uh, a salt substitute uh, comprising 75% uh, of sodium chloride and 25% of potassium chloride by mass, or the control group was using continue to use the regular salt, that is 100% sodium chloride. So the follow-up was um, basically 4.7 years, and the results are very striking. So the, redu the reduction in the rate of stroke was um, 14%. So people who were using these uh, sub salt substitute uh, had a 14% lower risk of stroke. They had a 13% lower risk of developing cardiovascular events and a 12% lower risk of death, of mortality. So very striking, very strong data from a, a powerful uh, randomized clinical trial strongly showing that reducing salt intake in your diet is not only reducing blood pressure, but is also reducing the risk of stroke and the risk of cardiovascular events and death. Of course, the contribution is 14%. Is, it's, 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 it's there are many other factors like weight and the, the composition of your diet, you know, the, 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 the intake of fibers of omega-3 and other phytochemicals and rich in minerals that we know uh, together with body weight and exercise are important to lower your blood pressure and your risk of developing stroke and cardiovascular disease. Anyway, thank you for listening as always and uh, we'll uh, continue with other videos. Uh, thank you.